Hello and welcome aboard BBE Travels in our Camino de Santiago. On our last episode, we left the town of Navarrete on our way to Nájera. In this episode, we explore the town of Nájera. There, we purchase cookies made by nuns. We take some time to eat at a very nice restaurant. And finally, we explore the catacombs in the church. We hope that you enjoy our episode. And once again, welcome aboard. We made it to the town of uh, Nájera. It's uh, noon right now. Uh, hot. Very hot. Uh, very hot. So 102. 102 degrees. So. We're gonna see if we can find the. Uh, it's a host hostel. Should be close by. Uh. As we made our way through town, we noticed that Nahera was very colorful and also was very friendly to pilgrims. We're just entering the town of uh, Nahera. This is the uh, police station. Well, folks, uh, when you get to the uh, city of uh, Nahera. Uh, one of the churches, uh, the nuns, they, uh, they do pastries and uh, it's a typical thing in, in Spain where you get uh, different kinds of pastries uh, through the convents. So you can make a stop, uh, get your stamps credential. We found that the cookies were very well baked and also the price was very convenient. There in the convent you can also stamp your credentials. Just ask any of the nuns in charge and they will point you where you can find the stamp for your credentials. We noticed in Nahira that many pilgrims just bypass the church and kept on walking. However, I highly recommend you making the stop, get your credential, and buy the cookies. We continue in our walk and we started walking towards the end of town where all the restaurants and many of the albergues are located. Nahira is one of the towns of the pilgrims route to Santiago de Compostela thanks to King Sancho III who in the 11th century modified the route so it became a staging post for passing pilgrims. The town is divided by the river Najerilla. An exceptionally important monument stands on its bank, the Monastery of Santa Maria la Real, built in 1032. It underwent a number of modifications in the 15th century. Pellegrino, but look how they spelled it. And me. All right, cool. Yeah. But folks, uh, we are in the uh, Los Parrales in Nájera. It's a nice small bar with the food. The treatment so far has been great. And uh, we're going to take a look at the rest of the plates and the food. So hopefully you enjoy with us here in Nájera on the way to Camino de Santiago. We do recommend the restaurant Los Parrales. Here we have an example of patatas a Riojana, or potatoes Riojana style. This particular restaurant has won many awards, particularly for their tapas. The service was good and the prices were very comfortable. The girls did enjoy their food. We gathered outside the restaurant and started strolling around the town, watching all the beautiful views of the town of Nájera. If you're up for a nice walk, there is a boardwalk alongside the river Najerilla. And as we leave this part of town and continue towards Albergue, we stop at the Church of Santa Maria de la Real. This is the church and the monastery of Santa Maria de la Real. The monastery church you see today dates from the year 1516 and it has three naves. The monastery was founded by King Garcia Sanchez III, the one from Nájera, and his wife Doña Estefania. They commissioned its construction in the year 1052. The origin of its foundation are misted in the legend in which tells how the king was out hunting and chased his prey into a cave where he found a mysterious image of the Virgin in a jar of lilies, a belt and a lantern. Sometime later the king reconquered the lower Rioja city of Calahora from the Moors and built the monastery of Santa Maria la Real as an offering to the Virgin for her help. The choir stalls are from the beginning of the 16th century in Walnut and considered to be a masterpiece of a Florid Gothic style. Elaborate carvings are individually made that adorn each of the seats that represent religious symbols, scenes from everyday life, and renowned persons from that time. A Baroque-style painting of a Benedict order adorns the top of the choir. On the outside and just before the entrance of the crypt of Santa Maria de la Real and at the foot of the main nave, there is a section with sepulchres of the many monarchs of the Kingdom of the Region of Navarra. 
While the monarchs buried here date from the 10th until the 13th century, their sepulchres are Renaissance in style. The beauty and majesty of El Camino de Santiago in Spain provides every pilgrim that walks along its roads a wonderful glimpse of the past. Architecture, beauty, and history are the common themes along the Camino de Santiago. The Baroque altarpiece in the main chapel dates from the end of the 17th century. The main nave with its impressive pillars was built between the years 1422 and 1453, and they are of florid Gothic style. The Monastery of Santa Maria de la Real offers pilgrims a true sense of beauty, majesty, and mystery. During the summer, the church is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. through 1 p.m., and then it closes for a rest until 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. Sundays and holidays are from 10 to 12.30 and from 4 to 6. During the months of October, Mondays are closed, and the rest of the year, Saturdays are open from 10 to 1 and from 4 to 6.30. The fee for entrance is 3 euros for adults and 1 for children. Monastery of Santa Maria de la Real is one of the places we highly recommend pilgrims to stop and admire the beauty of the history and the culture of Spain. We left the wonderful Monastery Santa Maria de la Real and continuing our walk through the town of Najera. We noticed all the coat of arms in many of the houses and the peculiar colors of the mountains that resembles the area of Sedona in Arizona. We also discovered that there were paths to climb up in the mountain and get some great views of the town of Najera. There are caves up there and also a remains of the castle. We say goodbye to the town of Najera and get ready for tomorrow's walk in El Camino de Santiago. In our next episode, we continue to the town of Santo Domingo de la Calzada. We walk under the rain, we meet people from Belgium, we walk through the beautiful wheat fields, we stop and listen to a typical trovador music, and finally we get to stay in an old castle in Santo Domingo de la Calzada. Join us in our next adventure of BDE Travels in El Camino de Santiago. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you don't miss any more adventures here on BDE Travels.